happy Halloween from Movie Nights. Well, it was a good message. Let's turn it off. <laughs> Get out of here, Lord. Get out of here. <laughs> so, um, holy shit. Law Breaker. Breaker. She just beat the crap out of this DVD and called a review. Yeah. That's all we should do. So last year we did uh, Mr. Boogity, which neither of us had seen, and it was a popular quest. And so both of us tried really hard to forget. <laughs> 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 this year we decided to watch Bride of Boogity uh, for the first time, which was full length. It was an hour and a half instead of 45 minutes. And holy shit. It really it surprised us. It was <sighs> surprisingly good. Boogity! It was twice the length, <laughs> half the content. Oh my god. The world's most annoying family is back and they're worse than ever. Look, Ari. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's a joke. Good one, Dad. This was just awful. Uh, I, I was I was having none of this movie. None of it. <laughs> Do this not discard. Yeah, right. Where does it say do not discard? <laughs> Don't throw that away. Oh, so we can get Forever. our Disney rewards? Yeah. <laughs> Reward for buying this. You know, like, the family in the first one was annoying. They were they were the worst part about it, really. But, like, it wasn't nostalgic to us, but mm -hmm. I could see some charm there, like, why people would be nostalgic about it. Um, not so with the second one. The second one like amped up everything annoying about the first one and yeah, like made them extra stupid. He said it was like less content than the first one, but like almost twice the length. They kept spreading it, it out was... by doing the same scene over and over again. This they just was... kept doing the same stuff. Yeah. They made this a year later as another attempt to make a pilot for a TV series and, and that failed as well. Um, but I, I asked this last year, but I still have the question, like, what would the series be like? Would it just be Mr. Boogity every time? Because it felt like yeah. they were searching for content I, just in this movie. Yeah, I cannot stand Boogity. Anytime he shows up, he is so annoying. Boogity. Boogity. Mr. Boogity. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Boogity, boogity, The writer has not written very many things. Um, it's the same writer from the first one. But all he thinks is funny is just saying boogity over and over yeah. again. And that's what they or do. that stupid fucking father Ugh. just being a jackass is like Ugh. do you remember how they did stupid little gags to each other well <laughs> you can see a lot more of that and the parents fucking forgetting the first movie even happened yeah it's worse in this one because they act like the first one didn't happen but did at the same time mm -hmm. because they're acting like they're morons like oh mr boogity huh? it's mr boogity i saw him he's back uh-huh, yeah, sure you did. It was really uh, Was Was he real big and scary? Yeah. And this is supposed to be fairly soon after the first one happened. They're still considered new in town. Yeah, it's still like they just moved in. Yeah. And, and Boogity tells them get out of his house, which is his other catchphrase. Get out of my house! <laughs> Because yeah. at least he learned a couple more <laughs> things other than Boogity. Yeah, he's got a couple more sentences here. Um, <laughs> that should be the tagline. He's got a couple more sentences here. <laughs> you know, I love that the plot of this undermines the entire plot of the first one. Mm -hmm. Someone's telling a story by Campfire. I think the replacement John Aston, because John Aston's not back in this. There's another guy playing the same character. Um, some people are back, other people aren't. But um, the other guy does nothing. It's like he had a lobotomy like his character if you think of it as the same guy making ice cream would you like to try some i'm working on some new flavors new flavors spinach with crunchy bacon bits 
all I do is make stupid ice cream flavors. That's my thing, and I wear a pirate hat or an aviator cap. Half the time he's just in the background with the gypsy lady. He's doing but, um, thing. But he, he was telling a story at the beginning at, by the campfire and telling the story of the first movie, and he said, you know, Mr. Boogity was trapped in this house with the woman he wanted to make his bride and her son, and by the end of the movie, uh, the first one, uh, if you need a refresher, they got rid of Boogity's cloak by sucking it up in a vacuum cleaner, and the the I widow... I did need a refresher, I tried to forget. <laughs> <laughs> and the widow and her son were set free, and they had this beautiful moment where they're like, Ah, oh, we're free at last, after 300 years. But guess what? No? Hello, Ari. Hello, Corwin. Jonathan. Hello, Corwin. We need your help. It's Mr. Boogity, isn't it? Guess what? There's a spot. Straight back yeah. to hell. Yeah, and he said, what if Boogity wasn't banished? What if he was just hiding? Well, then what was the deal with that being set free at the end? Oh, thank you for not doing jack shit. After Christy Swanson regenerates, she's the first one who sees Boogity just fucking around in the bushes. Apparently he's he wasn't like, trapped in the house, he appeared like in a graveyard somewhere, or like in the yard. They act like he's trapped in that statue later, even though he'd been yeah. appearing quite a few times before that. It didn't make any sense, and then he's, he's looking for his cloak, again, and they never explain what the family did with it. They, they imply... They put it in a magic door. Yeah, they seem to imply they destroyed it, because the gypsy's like, oh, it's not that easy to destroy this. But then there's a magic door that it's hidden behind. It doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense in this movie. <laughs> what happened to the vacuum cleaner ghost from the end of the first one that winked and they went, ooh? <laughs> It was too, like, booked to appear in the scene. <laughs> it like Christy Swanson yeah. had to leave. Christy Swanson had a real career to get to. <laughs> like, uh, the dad confuses me too, because the actor's been in real things. Mm -hmm. There's actors that have been in real things in this. Some of them, not so much, but... It seems he at like least he, he died should do better. In it. Yeah, at least in it they had the courtesy to kill him. <laughs> when they're not joking, you're hoping they are, but no, then they're serious. <laughs> Stupid fucking jackass family. Fuck. Ugh, they make me so mad. <laughs> you think that once they see, like, the supernatural stuff actually happen again, they're gonna stop being fucking morons? But no. No, they just no. continue to get dumber and dumber. And even when this happens again in the movie, immediately after they're like, oh, well, let's just go do something else. I guess we gotta go to this uh, festival that we're having. Mm -hmm. Keep doing that third eye joke. It's gonna get funny sometime. Uh -huh. If you just keep repeating it, they stick dumb things on their head. I guess it's a joke. It's the only carnival in the whole world with a super duper supernatural third eye. Huh? There's like several sets that they have like put together in this movie too that you can tell like they only set up once and they just yeah. they film their scenes you know whenever they would come back to them so it'd be like there was one set that had a bunch of obviously fake wax sculptures there yeah. which were people standing still. Yeah, what's gonna happen there? They're yeah. gonna come to life? Oh, yeah. whoa, the most obvious thing in the world. You could easily do a 45 minute cut of this and not change the plot. You could do plot. a 20 minute cut of this. You could do a 20 minute cut, it'd probably be better. We kept just hoping it was going to end several times. Like, by the halfway mark, we're like, this has to be almost over, right? But it wasn't. Oh, the dad gets possessed by Boogity in this one. It's like, oh, look, he's acting weird. Ah, uh, and then it's like, anyway, let's go back to bed and then do the same scene again a little bit later. Like, yeah, they just do the same thing. He gets possessed and he goes, Boogity, Boogity, just kidding. Boogity, boo. Just kidding. Boogity. Just kidding. He, he does the like, gag shop, so you know, he says, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he has a stupid brother who also does pranks because we need another member of the moron family in this. First of all, his first scene comes to nothing. He shows up, they prank him. Yeah, but they've does, gone to elaborate lengths just elaborate to, lengths prank to prank this yeah. stupid guy. They, they pretend to be ghosts, which seems in very poor taste, considering they just fought a ghost. A lot of things they do are in very poor taste, considering <laughs> they just saw a ghost. <laughs> 
And almost they, the whole movie. They almost give him a heart attack. And then, or a fart attack, if you will. <laughs> I just want to hear the doctor say that Jerry had a fart attack. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Heart attack. <laughs> oh man, I wish we had any sort of laughter. Boogity, boogity, boogity. He says he wants uh, that they're too good for Lucifer Falls. Where is that? Where is yeah, it called? Yeah, Lucifer Falls. Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a dumb name for the town. Oh, one thing about Lucifer Falls, Elm, you're as safe out there as you are in your own living room. It's a surprising <laughs> name for the town too that they called it that in this Disney movie. Especially considering Pilgrims were the ones yeah. who founded this. Apparently, yeah. they called it Lucifer Falls. Seeing how like <laughs> doofy the whole movie is, it's like really. Like... Well, he did make a deal with the devil. Remember, Mr. Boogity had that scene with the devil. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and he goes like, "You need to run this uh, this gag shop. We want to make you the manager over there, and you got to like come and run this, even though." I don't know, I guess the brother was not aware that they had just moved there and spent all that money to like move to this town? I don't know, it's never brought up again, it doesn't matter. He shows up again to try and prank him back, mm -hmm. and that's how they depossess the dad, because he laughs at his stupid gorilla prank. <laughs> Gorilla from the original Ghostbusters. <laughs> the original Ghostbusters is We're funny. The <laughs> Holy shit, it would have been better than this. There's Bad another stuff. plot point that goes nowhere, which is the daughter, and she's like, oh, yeah. No one ever listens to me. It's not like they have any serious bit with her trying to get her parents to listen to her, or take her serious, yeah. or anything. It's just, it's a thing that pops up and then they ignore it because. They've got to waste more time with stupid gags. Oh, look, Eugene Levy's put dark rings around his eyes. <laughs> yeah, e Eugene Levy is in this, and he got the only laugh of the movie. Hurry up! Wait for me! Uh, uh, <laughs> that was legitimately great. Yeah. It, it comes out of no, there's no reason for this. No, there's no and we it, don't know it, whose like, baby this the is. The rest of the thing is just kind of like him doing lame things too, like, here, I hope it rains. But yeah. then it's just like, oh yeah, baby murder. His plot's ridiculous. I was way more invested in his plot than the Mr. Boogity plot because he, he runs a general store and he's mad because they open up a gag shop because he thinks it's going to be competition, yeah. even though it does not sell the and same And also products. the dad got to be honorary mayor, which he used to be. Oh like, no! Uh, he can't be honorary mayor of the dumbass festival. No! He's like a rival store that doesn't sell the same products. Like he he sells a couple gag gifts at his uh, general store, yeah. but it's, people still need groceries. They still need other things. They need tools. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, oh god die. They depossess the dad, and they're like, this time we need to destroy the cloak for realsies. And Eugene Levy steals it, and he's like, ah, that's why everyone likes you because of magic. So I'm gonna steal your magic cloak, and I'm gonna cast spells. And people are like, ah, Eugene Levy, you're so silly casting spells on us. <laughs> uh, Mr. Boogity got dumber in this too. <laughs> he got dumber it's in this too. It's hard for him to get dumber. He, you know, you would think it's not possible, but it is. He gets yeah. dumber because he's looking for that widow. Anytime someone's wearing a dress that's similar to her, he thinks as that it's her. As long as they're wearing a pilgrim dress. Yeah, if they're wearing a pilgrim outfit. Okay, they got the pilgrim outfit because Possessed Dad took it from the historical society and gave it to the mom. Mm. And even after she knows Possessed Dad gave this to her and thinks yes. that she's married, she still wears it to the festival, knowing, by the way, that the cloak is missing. Because the cloak was stolen, they're like, oh no, I thought you had... Oh, fuck <laughs> No, I didn't have the cloak, huh? Next scene, next day. <laughs> next day, they're at the festival. And she's still wearing it, and of course gets kidnapped by Mr. They're Boogie. also still like, 
They do a seance, again, really dumbass thing to do right after you've actually had to fight a ghost in your own home. Yeah, let's mess with the spirit yeah. world. This seems like a good idea. And even after the stupid father's been possessed by Mr. Boogity, they're using him as part of their phony seance bullshit. Boogity, boogity, boo. They're like, oh, oh boogity. Like, oh, Mr. Boogity. What? Yes, it's still an active what threat. is the matter with you people? <laughs> they, and once he, they know they've got to get the cloak and destroy it, they're like, anyway, let's fuck around at the fair. Let's Dumb fuck asses. around with our stupid phony seance crap. Idiots. But, like, I want to know where they got the second pilgrim outfit from. Because they stole the first one from the historical society, and apparently he didn't want it back. And the mom is wearing it, but then when they're trying to get the mom back from Mr. Boogity, the daughter dresses up in the same outfit. So they, apparently they had two copies of this outfit for mm -hmm. an inexplicable reason. Because no one knows she's going to do that. She just shows up. Well, did she find it in the graveyard? Did she Where get the glow from? around her too for a second? Did she? Yeah, she I thought it was because he was grabbing her. I thought she had one for a second first. I don't know. I don't she know. didn't cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna look like an idiot forever. It's preserved. I don't care. I, I don't, look, no, I don't. I tried to forget the stupid movie the second after I watched it. You're the if she had a glue, fool. whatever. She didn't. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> look at this fool over here. He is look at fool. this fool who bought this. I know. This is an expensive DVD. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. So that's the bride of Boogity, is the, the wife. She's the bride. Yeah. That plays into the last five minutes. Oh. Uh, and he gives her, um, you know, Bride of Frankenstein here, because that's a cute reference. Did the actual woman, he's, what was her name, Marion, have Bride of Frankenstein here? No. 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 Of course Doesn't she make didn't. Any sense. It just, he did it because that happens. Why the fuck not? And that tricks him or something. Oh no! Anyone who wears a dress, <laughs> that must be her. I wish he the father so had worn it. And like, hey, oh, look, it's me, your wife. And then he'd made out with him. And then it's <laughs> like, oh, your mustache is bigger than I remember, Marion. Oh, burgundy! <laughs> this is the '80s. They got a serious case of the not gays. They can't do that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we don't want to imply that Boogie's gay. <laughs> It's <laughs> really uh, destroy the sanctity of Mr. Boogity. <laughs> boogity, boogity, boogity! Boogity, boogity, boogity! Good lord. You'll be chilled to the funny bone? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck everything about this movie. It really did only get one laugh, and that was the the, mm. the cart pushing thing, There's or the stroller. One other line I thought was slightly funny. You people think you're so smart. Fooling everybody into liking you. Making believe you're stupid. Why would we make believe? <laughs> like, yeah, that's pretty true. <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. Uh, and you're just, oh, it's so annoying to have to follow these fucking family of ass hats around. There's no escape in this one because at least the first one, it was short. It also uh, had John Aston. And it had um, Christy Swanson. Mm -hmm. So they were kind of like, they, they were escapes from the moron club. Mm -hmm. um, but this one has no such escape. We get Eugene Levy some, but he's not that prominent in it, considering he's like the second villain. And plus it's longer, so... And you'd think you the daughter wants else. to have a plot or something about, I don't know, being more serious or something, but it doesn't do anything. This presented less of a premise than the first one did for a series. I don't mm. understand how this would have continued as a long-term thing. Look at all the ideas we got, like, um... I was really amazed though, like when Boogity possesses the father, he can go through walls. Yeah, if he'd unpossessed him mid wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been the best prank <laughs> in this damn movie if just he had the wall stuck in him and like coughing up blood. Oh, I did so much pain, but I deserve more. 
Ah, uh, writes Boogity on the wall dead. <laughs> There are so many times, at least three different times in this movie, that you can have a bad ending and just cut to credits. Mm. I think we have a problem. I'll make you sorry that you and your family ever came to Lucifer Falls. I would have just ended it after Eugene Levy pushed that baby in the crowd. Ah, what a genius plan to get rid of Boogity at the end, huh? It was really, it was, it was less complicated than the stupid vacuum plan. <laughs> They're like, oh, I gotta do the first of all, they summon stupid baby ghost. <laughs> And, uh, and then, yeah. Okay, they summon him in a seance. The kid is like, oh, let me go ask someone. And then they're like, who'd you ask? He's like, oh, he told me not to tell. So we're just going to assume Satan. I had to ask someone. Who? He told me not to tell. They never came back to that. And it's, it's weird because it's not like there's some sort of saintly glow to imply like, oh, it was God or something. They just say, he told me not to tell and we don't know who he talked to. This but kid clearly way. does not know what he's saying. Like, no, he might have been dubbed by someone else, like he's out of sync yeah. parts. If Mr. Boogity is holding on to anyone else, they will go down with him and won't be able to come back. Bye. Uh, you said you had to go to a statue and then do the rites to kill Boogity, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> they, they had to stick their magical key that they found in their basement to open the magic door. Magic key, stick my Stick it ass. in his grave. And then open up the statue again, and then he'll be sucked back in, into the, the afterlife. Which apparently he was going to anyway, because he was stealing the wife. So I don't... Why did he think he needed to steal Marion from the living world, since he knew she was a ghost, and he trapped her in that house for he 300 knew years? Where she, he knew what she looked like, and he knew that she was a ghost before, but now if anyone puts on a dress, Mr. Stupid, he goes, Oh, it must be my wife! <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> What do you call him at one point with his stupid roasty face? Oh, he became George Hamilton? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a real zinger at George Hamilton. <laughs> I swear, like, the makeup got so much worse in this one. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, this is also an example of, like, um, they really should have learned that less is more. Mm -hmm. Because the first one, it was... It was a lot tighter, and it was smaller. You had less people, because there was more people in this, and it, it did look nicer, but it had... It's the only thing. It looks more like a movie than it, the first one. But... Yeah, it, it looks more like a movie, but it um, it um it's just dragged out, and there's no characters that are, like, charming that you want to see more of. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, oh, look at this big cast of characters we can follow. It's just like... Here's the morons and then some extra people with no personality. <laughs> there was a lady who dressed like a witch and they seemed to be implying was a witch and then it nothing happened. Nothing. Her name was Mrs. Hooter. Uh, or Hooters? Yeah, she was Mrs. Hooters. <laughs> well, Mrs. Hooter. Really funny bit where she and the daughter were wearing the same fairy costume. Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought it was just going to be a stupid gag like at the end she'd be revealed to be a real witch. So I was like, all right, so when are they going to do that? And then it didn't happen. Why a payoff to things? They could barely have a payoff to their main plot, which was just, oh, uh, we put them in hell, cool, the end. And then the kids go, oh, like a coat. Yeah, I didn't know if it was his cloak or someone else's coat. It was kind of mumbled. Yeah. It was mumbly. Those but kids cares? are brilliant actors anyway, because they get teleported in there. Where are we? This isn't where we were before. Where are we? How did we get here? I don't know. Uh, everyone got so much worse. The no. acting got worse. The, you know, there was at least some comic timing for some parts. In mm -hmm. the first one, like, the wife had some funny moments. In this, none. I, she was insufferable. Like, I couldn't stand any scene that she was in. Yeah, it just felt like random. Just like, oh, the daughter at one point takes a drink of milk and it spills on her. So like, eh. The dad's eating something that sprays him. Yeah. So, he's, so I'm like, is this a prank thing? Because he's eating it. 
But then he's got goggles on, and he's got like little like wiper things that mm-hmm. he uses on it. Yeah, Ugh. rubs off his goggles. <laughs> this prank is for Good no joke. one but him. Yeah, it's it's a gag for no it's one. Like, but just him. don't eat so sloppy. Nope. <laughs> I'd rather wear my dumb goggles. That's uh. hilarious. It would almost be a a real joke. If the family was stupid, but nobody else found them funny, mm-hmm. like if they were just like, ho, 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 and everyone's like, oh, these morons. Yeah. But everyone encourages them, so it's like a town full of morons. Mm-hmm. And why does everyone like them immediately? Why? I, I don't know. I can't find them likable. So. Like, we couldn't stand them for an hour and a half. Like, How could they stand them? Clearly this with does them? not take place in the real world <laughs> where anyone finds this family likable. <laughs> Uh, was, uh, it's confounding. <laughs> and why Boogity would not just go, like, if he got free somehow, he should have, like, taken off to the other side of the world or the other side of the afterlife. Yeah. Like, who cares if they're in your house? Just get your cloak and get the hell out of there. He was going to kidnap that wife, that poor ghost. Uh. <laughs> that poor man yeah. who made a deal with the There's devil. a lot of people you can put this dress on in the universe. Like, probably even an alien. Like, just whatever. <laughs> Just get out of there, man. You're <laughs> annoying too, but fuck. <laughs> You're the lesser of these evils. Yeah. Yeah. He is the least evil of them all. <laughs> At least you just say boogity over and oh, and the fact that it, that happens, and then they go, oh, I wonder who it was, like a few times. Like, boogity, boogity, who was that? Boogity. Just kidding. <laughs> boogity. Is pulling his strings. Boogity? Boogity. How do you not know? What's the one ghost named Boogity in your life? Figure it out. Use your detective skills. Good lord. So, okay, is, is there any part of this movie that you would recommend to people? Would, would you recommend anyone watch this? If you hate yourself <laughs> and want to watch something that will make you you feel even worse. <laughs> even if you're... Okay, the only person I would recommend this to is a Eugene Levy fan. And the only reason I would do that is because I feel like they have a higher tolerance for <laughs> shit that's just irredeemable. Because I feel like Eugene Levy fans have to sift through a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see like a, a movie with a bunch of stupid, goofy, wacky people, yet somehow Eugene Levy's not really one of them, yeah. this is one of the movies this, where that happens. He, he is he is subtle and and um, he's got a lot of nuance to this performance <laughs> compared sure to anything is. else that he's been in. <laughs> I'm sure you can say there's something better. Than this. Goodness gracious! Um, just just watch the first one if you're curious. I don't. I recommend the sequel. At I don't all. recommend it's, either. It's really hard Just, to sit through. There's a lot better kids' horror movies than book. <laughs> yeah. Um, Stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> boogity boogity boo. <laughs>